What's up everybody, Funnel Doc here. In today's video, we're going to be going over a new update that's just amazing for agencies or anyone that's doing any type of billing or contractual things inside of High Level. You're going to want to use this. It's a new estimate and proposal. So this allows you to be able to write full contracts out now, have a signature block, everything. I'm going to dive deep in this video, explain it all to you, show you how to set it all up. It's going to be great. See you inside today's video. Peace. What's up, everybody? Funnel Doc here. So today we're inside of my version of High Level called Funnel Agency Software. If you want to know more about it, there's a link down below where you can get a free seven-day trial. With that being said, let's jump into today's video on proposals and estimates. So proposals and estimates just released. You'll want to uh, go over to the left side menu here. You'll see you'll go down to payments. You'll click on payments and then click on proposals and estimates. Now, normally you'll have a blue button here that will say new or create a proposal or estimate, and uh, you'll be able to start there, but you can see I've already started some. Now, when you make your first, you'll click the button. There's gonna be two different types here. Now, estimates, it says, are more for like a project, like you're maybe doing something service-based, like maybe it's coaching sessions, or maybe it's like you're a copywriter and you're writing some emails or something that's like this, um, just a billable thing that you're just like, oh, here, here's like 500 bucks or a thousand bucks or whatever it is. Um, usually for me, I don't really anything under like five grand. I don't really use contracts for, um, I just write them an invoice, but I usually will write an invoice versus a proposal or an estimate for me in the past for businesses. Estimates always been something like, oh, here's like a, a rough estimate or an idea of what it's going to cost and a brief overview of the stuff that should be provided where the contract would all have all the legalese and all mumbo jumbo in it. So um, I'm not sure for here again, they're, they're using it. It sounds like almost the same thing, but one's a little more formal where the new proposal send a formal business document outlining project details and terms. Um, as you can see right here, I've added my funnel doc funnel proposal. This is this basic contract that we go through. Um, you can see at the top here, I wish you could make it a little wider because it seems long, real long. I'm going to show you how to build all this in just a second in a demo, but this is just an image. And then I basically went in here and used uh, copy and paste and just put text in here and then changed some things that I'm always having to change on my own, like the date and the username is or having you know, a VA or something like that or whatever. But things I'm always having to change, uh, which is really cool because you can come up here and you can actually use custom values for the account, the time, the user, the contact, or any custom values you made. You can, um, you know, change formats. You can do all different types of basic, you know, alignment and bolding and fonts and stuff like that. It's all at the top right here um, as far as your actual text. But then we go all the way through. Here's everything about it. Then you come down the bottom. I added a little extra right here by electronically signing this document below. You agree to all terms and conditions set forth in the do above document, as well as here's a price breakdown Funnel build out 10K, coaching sessions 12K, 15K. You can also add a discount. Um, let's go ahead and jump in. And this is the example of like a, a, you know, a template that I'm having. And you can just come in. The cool thing about this now is on this template, I just come in, I clone it, and then I change a couple things on it. Or like I said, have your VA or whoever's doing uh, contracts do it, and you're good to go. Um, you can also mark these complete. You can download as a PDF. You can delete it. You can also view it. Once it's sent out, you cannot change it. You can uh, send it back to draft to change, but if you do, anyone that signed it will be deleted. That's one of the cool things about stuff like this and why you're still using one or you know two final pieces of other software and didn't completely have everything moved in a high level was for that reason that I needed something I knew in a court of law, if somebody signed it, it would stand up. And now with Sean and those guys, they made sure this will do that. And when you sign it, you can't change it. So that's really awesome. Again, uh, you've got here, you've got the top, you've obviously got your uh, date range, you can search here, um, folders would probably be nice, uh, Sean, if you happen to watch this, you've got draft, you've got waiting for others, so this is something that needs somebody, it needs to be signed, and then of course, once it's signed, you've got finalized, so then you've got your proposal, here's a um, example of a sample proposal that I was just playing around with, throwing stuff on. You know, here's your image you could come in. You can pick any different image you want. So if I want to come in instead, I can, you know, upload a file. There you go. So now we're going to change the image. Now we've added that image with a black background. You can change the width, the padding, et cetera. Basic stuff. You can change it black and white or full color. 
You can add different videos in here. Now you can use Vimeo, Wistia, Yardly, or YouTube for URL, and then you can adjust the width, etc. You can add, um, this is an actual um, chart. You can come over here. So if you come here, you can, um, or table as they call it. And then you can, you've got, if you add your elements, you'll see at the top, other than the um, stuff for text, you've got your recipients, you've got your document variables, which you can actually create a new variable and add a value. So if you had something that you wanted specifically for this document, you can create that right there, as well as you can have the document date, the reference number, and the agency name listed right here. You can also add pages. So if I had like 13 pages, I could skip real quick around inside of it. And then you've got your elements you can add to it. Of course, you've got your, um, like I said, this table where you can add more rows, you can add more columns, you can uh, cause headers, you can change color background. So if I wanted this guy to be here, boom, that guy's red now. Uh, then you've got your cool uh, little, what they call a um, product list where you can actually add items. So you can add a new item. You can come in here and call this whatever you want. You can li list it as a physical good, dig digital good, or a service. And then, so let's say it's a service, and you can name the product name. I haven't really seen what the difference is because here's the price name, but when you make it, they use the product name. So I'm not sure how it's tracked differently. So if I change this, as, like you'll see this price. We cause this to be like $5 million. Now you can also save this for later right here by checking this box, but then you can add a new item. Oh, it's 50 million, a little bit off. So they're past due 50 million here. But see, you see it says the name, but there's nowhere in here that it really lists um, anything. You can, you can change like some of the, the price and display text, but you can't, I'm not sure what that other um, variable was that you're using when you created for uh, the price. Um, and then you can also, if you've got other products already made, you can use one and you could just select the price, put it here again. You can see that once it's saved. Then you've got more text down here and then you've got the actual signature block. So it's pretty easy to use. You can change here. You'll see once you click on the signature block, you can pick who's going to sign it. You can only have one signer at a time. I thought it'd be cool to have two blocks and then have one for one person and one like a co-signer for the owner of the company or the CEO like myself. And they'll only let you do uh, one person at a time. If you do another signature block, you'll see right here, we put another signature block. You'll see it's already preset for me. And if I go and I change one to one, they both change. And so now let's check out and I'll show you what it looks like when you send the actual email. So I haven't been able to find out exactly where this email is. I'm going to find that out. I'll get back to you guys. But you'll see it's estimated for Jeffrey Bannock. It's got your logo. Hi, Jeff. I don't use software extension estimate. Uh, click below. I'm sure if we're doing a, um, an actual uh, proposal, let's say proposal instead, and then you click it, you'll see that you come right here. And here you go. And everything's listed. I thought this was really cool. You'll go start filling up form. You click at the top. Then you can click here, scroll down to signature. They've got different fonts, different colors if you want to sign it different ways, or you can even draw, you know, if you want to be all, oh, I'm Jeff, and oh, you just boom, boom, boom. There you go. Accept and sign. And then when you finish it, there we go. You'll see now over here, when we go back, it's going to be moved into the new uh, spot. And there you go. You'll see right there. Now I've got one finalized, accepted, and boom. So it'll be interesting to see what workflows. As of right now, there aren't any triggers or workflows that tie directly in this. You do have some that tied into invoices being sent and invoices being paid, but nothing into proposal or estimates being signed, which I imagine we'll have soon because it's essential to be able to automate the entire process. Thanks so much for watching today's video. If you're interested in a free seven-day trial of funnel agency, so uh, funnel agency software, there's a link down below. You can try it for seven days. And then after that, it's only $97 a month. This is equal to the complete package you get with a uh, regular high level. And you're going to be getting templates and bots and all the different types of stuff. As long as you are a founder member, this founder price gives you special bonuses that you're going to be getting time and time again, as I'm building out this software, sign up now at the special finder founders price and lock in that 97 bucks. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Peace. Funnel lockout. Later, Abdul.